Okay, JP, so what brings us here today? I need your help, Doc. Well, I'll try my best, but what seems to be the problem? I think I'm a sociopath. Okay, that's interesting. Why do you think that? I don't know how to care. Well, that's certainly one of the symptoms. That there's gonna be a super moon. Oh, not this again with the super stuff. Is this like how you gave away complimentary tickets to the Super Bowl? Or Superman is your least favorite hero? Or your irrational fear of super soakers? They're water guns, JB. No, I was just saying I don't understand why I'm supposed to care if there's a super moon. Excuse me? Or a blood moon. I'm sorry? Or a, an eclipse or What is any wrong of that with stuff, you? Man? Why don't you care about the super moon? It's just I don't know, man. Everybody seems to be so excited for them every time they come, and I just... I gotta be honest with you, man. I don't understand why I'm supposed to give a shit. Because the super moon is when the moon gets super big. Right, but how's that supposed to, like, matter to me, man? I got real-world problems. I'm trying to pay my bills. I keep getting pulled over for being black. North Korea keeps testing their nuclear weapons. North Korea? Yeah, North Korea, man. How am I supposed to be focused on the moon when there might be missiles focused on my house? Look, JB, I don't know what to say about your home, okay? But, but don't you like it when things get bigger? Asses. Wrong moon. Oh, then you lost me. Okay, let's go back to the blood moon, right? Don't you think it's cool if the moon turns red? Like a stop sign? Yes, like a stop sign. No, that just means that even the moon's going stop looking up here and get Trump off of Twitter, man. He's gonna get y'all bombed. Not this liberal propaganda again. I mean, I'm sorry, what are you saying? I'm just saying, Trump is starting a war with Korea and he should be starting a war with laundry detergent. Laundry detergent? JB, I honestly don't have any idea what you're talking about. Dude, look at the news, man. Tide is out here killing our kids like Pennywise. Oh, okay, that's the, the clown with the red balloon? Yeah, man. I saw one of those balloons in my laundry room the other day. I haven't been home for a week. Okay, look, I get the clown thing. That makes sense. But what about the eclipse? What do you have against the lunar eclipse? It's literally the Earth blocking the sun from reaching the moon. That doesn't intrigue you? Man, nobody cares if there's sunlight on the moon. What, did we put a chia pet up there? The sun doesn't matter. The moon doesn't need sunlight. There's no moon people up there going, oh, how are we gonna heat up this pool? We got guests coming over at three. Nobody has a party at three. Or whatever time the moon time works at with time. But the sun is important to the moon. Its light reflects off of it. That's how you're able to see at night. Then why do we have millions of stars in the sky, man? Bro, I got a flashlight on my iPhone. It doesn't matter. Look, stop. I'm not gonna have you lay here and tell me that this stuff isn't important because it is a very big deal. Why? Because if it isn't, then I have to acknowledge that the news convinced me that it was. I hate to say it, man. It's fake news. Get out of my office.